Welcome young students of chemistry. This is a quick recording about how to use significant figures when you are doing mathematical operations with them. It boils down to whether you are adding, subtracting, or multiplying or dividing. So it's important to separate these in your heads. If you're multiplying and dividing, you're going to use the least number of significant figures of your measurement. If you're adding and subtracting, you're going to use the least number of decimal places that are found in your measurement. So be careful to separate that out, multiplying and dividing, significant figures, adding and subtracting, decimal places. Okay, so if we look at the numbers that are provided here in the notes, we have 11.075 divided by 12.7. So we should consider the number of significant digits that are in each of these measurements. 11.075 has five significant digits. 12.7 has three. Remember that we need to have the least number in our answer. So that means that when we write our answer, it has to have three significant digits. So 11.075 divided by 12.7 your calculator spits out this number. Now, I wouldn't normally want you to write this number, but I'm just going to show you this for purposes. So, 0.872047-2441. This is a ridiculous number. It's a ridiculous number of decimal places. We need to indicate the value, our answer, expressed to our weakest tool. And our weakest tool is the, is the graduated cylinder measuring the volume in milliliters with three significant digits. So when you put this answer on your paper, you do not record what is in your calculator. You record 0.872, that's three significant digits, with the unit gram per milliliter. Happens to be a unit of density. So don't just go scribbling out what your calculator gives you. It's lying to you, and we're not allowed to lie to each other. So letter B, again, this time we're multiplying instead of dividing. So we're going to look at significant figures. If we look at our number 140, that measurement has two significant digits. 35 has two significant digits, which means our answer, the sum of, this val of these two numbers, should have two significant digits. So the calculator gives you 4,900 centimeters times centimeters gives us the unit centimeter squared that's a unit of area so without a decimal place this number has two significant digits if we add that decimal place it now has four we needed to have two significant digits so we will not include that decimal place okay letter c we're adding and when we're adding we're looking at decimal places not significant figures. So if we're adding here, we know that this has one decimal place, this has two, and this has one. Our answer can only have the least number of decimal places that are found in our measurements. So our measurement that is the smallest has one decimal place. So we want to express our answer to one decimal place. So 22.0 plus 5.28 plus 15.5 the calculator gives us 42.78. We need that in one decimal place, so that's becoming 42.8. And centimeters plus centimeters plus centimeters is centimeters. And again, we're adding in letter D zero decimal places on this measurement, two decimal places on this measurement, one decimal place on the final measurement. So we need, to answer, we need to have our answer expressed to zero decimal places. So 2450 plus 4.30 plus 10.2. That's 2,464.5 is what your calculator spits out. Hopefully you're doing this with your calculator as you go along. So we have um, to zero decimal places, that becomes 2,465 deciliters. So at this point, you should pause the recording, and you should do E, F, G, and H, and then check your answers. Okay, check your work. So in letter A, we're dividing. We're looking at significant figures. 
We've got four significant digits divided by three significant digits. Therefore, our answer may only have three significant digits. I say may only have three, but it also must have three. Um, letter F, three significant digits divided by two significant digits. Our answer must have two significant digits. Letter G, three significant digits divided by two significant digits. Um, we need two significant digits, and the only way to put the number 100 into two significant digits is to use scientific notation. By the way, the units for letter E are um, a unit of density, grams per liter, that's mass divided by volume, which is density, and that happens to be a unit of gaseous density. Usually we measure in milliliters if it's a liquid. Um, letter F is a rate or a speed, meters per second. Letter G is an area, centimeters squared, and letter H is a unit of volume. And remember that when we're adding, we use the number of decimal places. Letter H, the .003 has three decimal places, four decimal places, and then three, so our answer can only have three decimal places. So just one more thing is as it applies to honors chemistry, and that is how do we, how do I want you to show work? So when you are doing a problem that involves some algebra, if you have some kind of equation, a mathematical equation that relates the variables, that is when you're going to have to use algebraic um, expressions. So for example, volume, length times width times height, that is a mathematical equation that is the re representation between volume and those measurements of length. So, um, so is density. When you are doing that, these problems will always be worth three points. And the three points are as follows. Before you do the mathematics, you must use, do your algebra. So you have to rearrange the equation for the variable that you're solving for. The second point is going to be the setup. That is the substitution of numbers into your new equation, and that must include units. And then the third point is the answer. With that answer, you have to have the proper units and the correct number of significant digits. So here's an example here. It says, what is the volume? That is, what volume is needed to contain? This should say 189.6 grams, sorry, of liquid mercury. Um, mercury is a metal, and it is the only metal that is not solid at room temperature. It is a liquid. And it says the density of mercury is 13.5 grams per milliliter. So hopefully in your chapter 3, you learned that density is equal to mass divided by volume. Now we're going to, that is not earning the one point. That's the mathematical relationship. So to earn your algebra point, you have to solve for the variable V because that's what the problem is asking us for. So to earn the first point, you have to do the algebra. V is equal to M divided by D. That earns you one point. The second point is the substitution. V is equal to substitute your mass. 189.60 grams divided by the density, 13.5. Now watch carefully what happens with the unit here. That unit is already a fraction. It's grams per milliliter. The gram goes with the, with the 13.5. The milliliter goes on the opposite side of the fraction. So the gram goes on bottom, the milliliter on top. The nice thing about doing your algebra first is that you can clearly see that the unit gram cancels, and that gives you the unit milliliter, which is an accurate unit for volume, so you know you did your algebra correctly. So this is your second point. The third point will consist of the answer with the proper units and the proper significant digits. So the volume we have 189.60, that has five significant digits, divided by 13.5, which only has three significant digits, which means our answer should be expressed to three significant digits, 14.0, the only unit that's left is milliliters, so that is the unit, and that is the third point. 
I know you don't like to do your algebra first, but I'm going to force you to do this part. It is so very good for you to get in the habit of solving your algebra first because you need to be able to show me your units canceling. So I'm going to be a real stickler on that. If you don't have that, there's no way you can earn three points. You can only earn two-thirds of the points for that problem. And if you know that 2 divided by 3 is 66%, that's 0.66. So that's a failing grade without showing me the algebra first. Okay, that's the end of this recording.